only four words, and they aren't that difficult. Number one, overnight success. So it, even if you have not seen this term, I think you can understand what it is. It's something that becomes successful very quickly. Not literally overnight in one night, but quicker than normal, quicker than usual. A product, um, a business idea, a, some type of business to become an overnight success. One day you've never heard about it, and then the next day many people are using it. Last week we talked about Pokemon Go. That would be a good example of an overnight success really quickly. Everyone is talking about it. Um, there was a famous song <laughs> called Overnight Celebrity, so you can maybe hear that term as well, an overnight celebrity, someone that all of a sudden is very famous. You can see that term used, overnight celebrity, overnight success, someone who suddenly is very popular and you didn't know about them before. Number two, inevitable. This is a, quite a common word. It just means it's unavoidable, it will happen no matter what, you cannot change it, it is coming, it is happening. Um, this example sentence says, it's inevitable for doctors and nurses to sometimes fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess that's true. He, the, in here they're saying, failure is inevitable. No matter what you do, no matter how careful you are, it will happen to some degree. It is inevitable. It will happen. It's unavoidable. Number three, to move on. So this phrase means to, to keep going, to accept that a situation is finished. You cannot change it. You need to advance. You need to keep going. You need to move on. A lot of times it's used when someone dies, uh, if there's a death in your family or a friend, you know, you need to have grieving time and you are sad for, I don't know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, whatever, but eventually you need to move on. If there is some really tough break in your life, you can, for a little while, you can be upset about it, you can be sad about it, but eventually, a lot of times it's used with the word eventually, eventually you need to move on. And this sentence says, if you don't move on from failures, you will never become successful. And the same thing they use in here, they're saying, yeah, failure is okay, but you need to move on after not too long of a time. And number four, to deal with. Um, this has two meanings, but the meaning here for our reading is to, to deal with something to solve a problem, to deal with the problem, to solve it, to take action, to take care of it, to deal with it. Uh, if there is some problem in your workplace, your boss can say, this is, this is your problem, you deal with it. This is not my... A lot of times it is kind of used a little bit aggressively. You deal with it, <laughs> right? You deal with it. It's not my problem. But it's not always used aggressively like that, you know. I, I dealt with that problem to deal with it, um, and then it could also be used in another different ways to deal with, meaning like to do business deals with, right? If you have some export company, I deal, I deal with the Chinese, I deal with the Japanese, but I to de make deals with. But in this context, to deal with something, to take care of it, to solve it, to deal with it. Um, this, this last example sentence, Police officials have to deal with human trafficking uh, once and for all. So to take care of it, to solve the problem. Just those four. Any questions? Okay.